So now with more information coming out on the Galaxy Z Flip 4, the question is, should you pick it up? Should you buy it? Or should you just go ahead and buy the Z Flip 3, which is going to be immensely cheaper on eBay once the Z Flip 4 comes out? Well, let's go ahead and start off by breaking down the updates or what rumored updates are coming out. This is being posted by Pocket Lint, who went ahead and posted this article. And let's go ahead and talk about it. So starting off right away, before we get into what they say is upgraded, this is what I want to see upgraded and what would make me actually think about picking up this device. So we already do know it's going to be cheaper than the Z Flip 3. So it's going to be less than a thousand dollars which already is a really really good thing if we're being honest starting off this list that's something you want to see improved is obviously the price tag thousand dollars for this bad boy right here is a lot of money to ask for number two i already love the ip rating on this device it's not perfect but it's good enough and it gets the job done i don't really think there needs to change anything with the ip rating I think that's honestly perfect. I think what they really need to increase and fix is going to be the crease on the display. That is definitely, as you can see, right on the camera roll. Look on that. Wow. Very noticeable on the camera roll right there. Yeah, they need to fix that little bad boy in the middle. The crease would be number one. Number two would be, of course, the battery life. Uh, this, I really don't have an issue with battery life-wise, but... Obviously, the battery life size for this device is way too small. That is a huge issue. Um, number three is the cameras and more importantly, the software for the cameras. Obviously, yes, the software is mediocre at best. The actual lenses on this and the sensor is actually not bad on this camera. It's actually pretty decent. They just need to fix the software. Make it so that I can, you know, actually use this phone like this, like an iPhone or an OSA Galaxy S22. And it's not going to mess up if I try to use it with this camera software. That's number three. Those are three things I want to see improved on this device. If I get those three things, I'll be happy as a camper. But let's see what this website, Pocket Lint, talks about. It's going to be improved and better. So, larger outer display. So, currently we're rocking a 1.1 inch outer display on this um, device right here. And they're saying there's going to be a bigger outer display. Um, I'll be honest. I really do not think it needs a bigger display. This display being the size it is, if you guys cannot tell, it's right here. It's literally where my deep brand skin ends. I think this display looks absolutely perfect. I have no issue with it at all. It's not too big. It's not too small. It gets the job done with Cover OS. You can actually do a lot of things to optimize this outside display. I don't have an issue with it. So a larger outside display, that might just honestly turn me off with the device. I'll be honest, like starting off right away, I'm already interested in too much of a bigger outside display. That's not really a big deal to me. I will say, you know, the whole point of this phone is anything. The outside display is really just a nice little notification slash, you know, Apple Watch type of scenario where, I mean, it doesn't take much to open up this phone. And that's when you're going to start using it as an actual cell phone. It's not like a Galaxy Z Flip 3 that it's when you open it up, it's this gigantic phone, a gigantic tablet. This is small when you open it up. It just becomes a typical candy bar cell phone. I mean, it's not really a big deal that you need it to have that kind of concept. So bigger outside display, I'm not really too much of a fan of that. And I'm hoping it doesn't have that much bigger of an outside display. I think it looks really good right now. I think it actually looks very flushed right now. I like the design of it being half, you know, regular uh, top and half display. But that's just me. Improved IP rating, obviously, I said before, the IP rating, fine. Um, now, could they make this completely waterproof where you could I just take a shower with it? Yeah, but, I mean, let's be honest, not really that big of a deal. I don't really think so. I mean, they did test with this phone right here and the Z uh, Fold 3 where they could survive in water uh, at 5 meters up to 30 minutes. So, it's not really a big deal. You're not going swimming with these devices, and if you are... Come on now, let's be honest. You should not be doing that. Four new colors. I like that, honestly. I mean, I will say with the um, 
a different edition of this film right here, the Z Fold 4. There it was the Flip 3. My bad. Uh, there's already a billion different color scheme size combinations. You can change the hinge color, the front, the back, everything like that. So four new colors is cool. And I'm going to guess this means the base model edition. Uh, so again, like I said, it's still cool. Not too, too bad. So it works out. For the display, it's going to be a two inch plus outer display. So again, one now is 1.1 inch. It would be a two inch. I'm not really too much of a fan of that. A 6.7 inch inside display, which I do like. So they're making the inside display a little bit bigger. I think that is a smart move, especially with, you know, how skinny this inside display really is. I mean, I can show you guys and it's going to be off on the camera, but it's very much skinnier on this phone than it is than iPhone or Galaxy S22. So it's a little bit skinnier. Um, it does say UPC camera. So again, like I said, improving the cameras in any way is always a plus slash benefit. Uh, it's going to get a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 Plus. So obviously like any iteration change in smartphones, we always have a bigger and better processor, more RAM, at least 8 gigabytes of RAM right here and a bigger battery. So every time you see an upgrade when it comes to like the Surface Duo 1 to 2, um, you know, the fleet C flip three to four, full three to full four. You're going to see a bigger battery upgraded processing unit upgraded, you know, everything inside. So I, again, like I said, those are things that I'm not really surprisingly enough. Whenever I see like, oh, it's going to be upgraded. It's going to, you know, have a bigger battery or a bigger processing unit. It's going to have this other than battery. Most things don't really get me to buy a new device, like increase Ram size. What is this? I don't even know exactly what this is. It's six gigabytes of RAM. So it's a plus two gigabytes of RAM difference. That's not really gonna get me to buy a new device. Um, Snapdragon upgraded, not really gonna get me to buy a new device. I mean, even with the Surface Duo 1, Surface Duo 2, that was a processor upgrade, but just that process alone would not get me to buy that device. The battery being improved definitely gets me to buy a device, especially with a phone like this that is known for having a horrible battery that will be actually better. All right, we have a dual wheel camera, a camera, which is what we have right now, which is interesting. I don't know what, I guess they're just doing the same thing for the Z Flip 4. Um, front camera, punch hole or under uh, display camera. Um, I'm not surprised, pretty much gonna look exactly like this phone right here. And yeah, so I don't know how I feel. Will I pick up the Z Flip 4? Because you know me, you guys are watching the channel. I was so against picking up this phone right here. That was a waste of money in every way possible. I picked it up. It's my daily driver right now. I'm daily driving it for a month. And I will say so far, I really do love it. Now, will I continue to love it as time goes on? We have to wait and see on that one. I will say overall, though, it's a fun device to use. It's a fun device to own. I'm not saying it's 100% the best device possible, but it definitely, for the price I got it for, $300, very, very nice and amazing. But I'm not sure if I recommend it to every single person at that $300 price tag. But that's just me. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.